Okay, let's take a look at how these seedlings are doing. So I uh, planted these about two weeks ago, right around uh, January 1st. It's now mid-January and um, they're coming along pretty nicely. So um, I have a fan going on them and that's to strengthen the plants. So they get shaken around a little bit and they have to develop a little bit of a stronger stem and a better root system to hold fast. So that's what that's for. Um, the tomatoes have come up. I put two seeds in each cell and they have all come up. So I'm either gonna have to thin these or separate them and pop them up. The peppers have also come up and chives have done nothing. And then back here in the back is Comfrina. It's a flower, my aster. Only one cell has come up. Echinacea has not done anything. The marigolds are looking great and the lavender has not come up. So I think what's going on with the lavender, the aster, the echinacea, and the chives is that it's too warm. I think I may try winter sowing with these and if I do that then I'll just record that in another video. Um, so let's think about thinning here. Um, marigolds, I don't think I need eight plants so I will thin these. So how I decide. Um, this one looks pretty good. Um, there's several sets of leaves and so I will probably get rid of this one. In fact I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to come down here whoops, and I'm just going to snip this guy. Um, for this one, I think I will keep this plant here. Um, again, it's got more leaves. It looks a little bit healthier. So I'm going to snip this one right here. Now, for this one, I've got one tall one, one short one. And um, normally I keep the taller one. It's got more leaves, um, so I think I'll go ahead and, and snip this little guy down here. And lastly, let's see, I'm going to keep this one and get rid of this one. So now I've just got four healthy plants in each cell. Um, I'll let these go a little bit longer and then I'll pop them up. Um, I will probably give them a little fertilizer. So I'm using these, um, this system here where it's got this wicking mat and then water underneath. It wicks up and waters everything from the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll put some of this fertilizer, just an all purpose evenly ba balanced water soluble fertilizer into a little watering can and then just put it in here so it'll seep in. So I'm not going to record it but I think I will do the same thinning process with the tomatoes and with the peppers as well. The gumfrina I might leave alone for now and let it grow up a little bit more before I thin it. So let me do that real quick and I'll come right back. Okay, all done. So I thinned the tomato plants. I went ahead and left the peppers. I want these to get a little bit taller, get a second set of leaves on here before I thin those. So that is the update on the seedlings as of the middle of January.